puts his hand up, he'll give you directions if you're in the back. But uh, we're very excited uh, to have everyone here uh, and, and incredibly proud of this uh, state-of-the-art, beautiful and almost perfect facility. So we, you are going to be blown away by all the amenities and all the things that everybody in this room helped create for uh, the amazing kids in Mountain House and in Lambertsville Unified School District. So uh, you have about a minute or so to get your stuff ready, put your caps. Oh, Ben is saying it's time. So uh, Ben is going to be your tour guide, and we're going to head off through the hallway here to begin. And uh, again, welcome, and I think you're going to be truly amazed by what you're about to see. Well, welcome. Thank you for being here today. Um, we are very proud of our facility, and we get, we'll have some time at the end when we do the ribbon cutting to talk a little bit more about uh, our school. But we're very happy to have you all here today starting here in the lobby, which was designed, a place designed to be a very welcoming place for our community, an open feel, and we're very glad to um, welcome you here. So what we're gonna do is, I will be in the front, and my vice principal, Kevin, will be in the back, and he will repeat anything I say if you don't hear it, <laughs> because we're quite, kind of a large group. So I'm gonna walk over this way, and we're gonna go back into, before we go back there, I'm gonna tell you what you're seeing. First of all, Great lobby area, woodwork, we've got the sweeping desk coming across that's very welcoming and open. If you look over here and have a minute uh, later, we have an office for our ASD Associated Student Bodies uh, students. They can go in there and uh, make plans for rallies and dances and things like that, so it's a space just for them and a window so we can keep an eye on them. <laughs> and as we move back into this area, we're going to go into the counseling area where our counselors, school psychologists, speech uh, therapists, and at the end of the hallway, if you, you could, you're free to look through the offices there before we go over to the administrative side of things. So I'll walk this way and you can all follow. Okay. Go ahead and take a look at the offices, walk on through. I'm just going to keep walking because there's so many of us. I found Kevin's office. <laughs> Kevin's office. Yeah, Ben, what's back in here? So this is the administrative side of the office. Okay. The vice principals, athletic director, and principal's office, and our office manager. And sooner or later it'll house about six to eight office people. We're going to start out with two to three. So we'll be swimming for a while until we get up to our anticipated about 2,200 students. So I like those windows. Yeah, it's great. Lots of light. Mm -hmm. A lot of power of observation, what's going on. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, I'd like to tell you a couple of things about this building. The first thing I can tell you is if you look out the window that way, um, sooner or later you won't be able to look straight out that window because the dirt patch you see out there will actually be our library. There's also a classroom building that's being built right on the other side, and that um, building will be done in October or November, and we'll be able to spread out a little bit more. The other thing I want to draw your attention to is down to the floor. Notice uh, the floors are not tile like they typically are in a school. They're actually the, um, the slab, the construction slab that they pour, and then they, they stain the floor and then seal right on top of it. And some people ask, why are there so many cracks? And I'm told by people who uh, do construction work is there's two kinds of concrete. Concrete that will be cracked and concrete that is cracked. So that's what we got. It kind of gives it an antique kind of feel. The other thing I want you to notice 
that as our public comes through, you'll see signs with QR codes on them. There's actually a narration of a walkthrough tour, so if later you want to learn more about the buildings, you can do go through again, and if you've got a QR scanner on your phone, it's got me talking about the building. Right now what we're going to do is we're going to walk through two classrooms. I'm not going to say much because there's too many of us. The first classroom is a science classroom that you're going to see, and the second classroom is a general classroom. In every one of our classrooms, there's a couple of features of it that I want to point out to you before we go in. In the ceiling are four ceiling mounted speakers that are used not just for the LCD projector that's in the room, but it's also an FM system, which means a teacher can wear a microphone around their neck and their voice is amplified for the whole class. There's a lot of research that actually has been done about amplification of teachers' voices and engagement of students and the actual retention of knowledge. So anybody who's a teacher knows that those are really valuable in the classroom. So you'll see that. The LCD projectors you'll see in the rooms as well. Um, uh, how many of you have ever seen a smart board or a Promethean board? Okay, well we didn't do smart board because those surfaces oftentimes get ruined. What we did is an interactive LCD projector. So it projects straight onto a whiteboard, but it acts like a smart board when you have the pen in your hand. So it's new technology where we don't have to have the specialized surface. And uh, it also has the capability to download a, an app on your iOS or your device and it can remotely um, put the screen up on, on the board for you. So we're going to go this way and we're going to go into one of those classrooms. As we walk, you'll also see the pass through into the lobby. Smart lights, too. entire field you see basically from sidewalk to sidewalk and front to back is our basically our performing arts complex. We're looking forward to our next phase and uh, adding that to our campus. That's where it will be. What we're going to do is we're going to move down into the multi-purpose room now. So it's a little bit of a jaunt across the quad. Just follow me.
Excellent. All right, well, welcome to our multi-use room. Um, as you'll see at the front of the room, we have a very small stage that we'll have to do for now before we get our theater. Um, but this is a place where uh, not just the school, but the community can gather um, and, you know, see speakers. Uh, you'll notice the very large LCD projector at the, the top here projects on a screen that comes out of the ceiling over there so we can, you know, have movie nights or uh, special events in here. Uh, and it's where all of the students will come and eat lunch in the cafeteria. It's uh, designed to load on both sides. We don't ever plan on having more than one lunch period. I don't, we don't believe in more than one lunch period because it kind of fractures your student body. Um, and I come from a system where we fed 2,600 kids in a half an hour. We can do it here too. We've got a double load on each side. Kids can come in, grab their food, and come and pay for it out here. We also have three satellite areas. There's a snack bar on the in, outside of this building, one in the administration building, and there will be one on the new classroom building. Um, it's a nice space. You notice there's booths in here. It's kind of set up to look more like a, a mall food court than a, a cafeteria. A little more engaging and, and nice for kids to sit in. So after we leave, oh, the other thing I wanted to point out to you, you can look in the window over here to the left of the stage, is our student store. That's an area where students will be able to stock with spirit wear, sell football tick, pre-sell football tickets and dance tickets and things like that. And there are windows that sell to the outside. So on your way out, if you want to peek in, the next building we're going into is the gym. So I if you follow me this that. way. we will be able to go in both gyms. So if you quiet down for just a moment. Um, our, our football stadium or our stadium will not be completed until August 1st. So this is about as close as we'll get to the stadium and it's out the windows that way. Lovely uh, area to, to intimidate people as they come in. Um, to come into this great lobby with lots of light. Uh, again, the stained floors. And when you walk into the gym, uh, I think you'll be pretty impressed. We have the large gym that holds 2,600 spectators, the small gym that holds about 700 in the stands. And so, uh, enjoy, let's go inside. And in the middle is an awesome logo of our, uh, of our mascot. Or the whatever it is. I was like, dude, that. <laughs> I know it's intense, right? It's so awesome. I just got a new one on this one. Yeah. 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 No, I want to wait for a We know that. Oh, Thank goodness. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah. Not yet. They they just finished it uh, two days ago. Oh, he's been in here and he's like, let's go. <laughs> what? When are we gonna start football conditioning? Weight training in here? It's, there, it's open the first of July. So it's this week. But we can't use that. No. We're gonna be practicing Grass. on the field. <laughs> Oh, 
Joey is gonna flip. I know, right? I, once the kids see this, I'm talking about taking his pride in your program. Because not even other, not even other brand new schools did it like this. This is like yeah. pro football stuff. They said, right? They got the pro football. All right, if I can get your attention, I'll tell you a little bit about this room as people continue to filter into the room. You can keep coming because there's still more people at the back. Welcome to Mountain House High School, home of the Mustangs weight room. Um, this is a very unique weight room. This room uh, is only one of three nationwide in a public school. Uh, this is the same kind of weight room that was put together for the 49ers. We are very fortunate, we're actually the only in the state of California that has a weight room like this. Uh, typically in a weight room, all you'll find is a bunch of weights. In this room, you find a lot of performance equipment. It's based on a lot of plyometrics. You'll notice on the floors over here, some jump uh, floor where they strap themselves in with some elastic bands. They do some agility work. It's really designed to be a weight room that is meant for both boy, uh, uh, male athletes and girl athletes. So. We're really fortunate to have what we have. We invested what we did because we want to make sure our students are safe because performance enhancing, uh, performance based uh, weight training really helps them to stay safer. So we've got the turf floor in the middle. You notice the brackets on the wall where they can hook themselves in and run against the resistance. Um, you've got the, the floors over here where they can bring uh, dumbbells over and do some jump drills. And then you've got the traditional weights as well. We've got a uh, treadmill, some spin bikes on the other side. And you notice the leg presses, the, the track is super long. That's not just so Mr. Faubert can use it. That's because they're actually jump leg presses where the, the kids can actually put the weight on and they do some performance drills. I'm not sure what it is yet, but they jump uh, with the weight on their legs so that uh, it, it's a lot more per performance based weight training. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go around and back into the small gym so you can see what our small gym looks like. because we don't want people getting lost in the locker room. And there's a lot of people, a lot of us to walk through there. So there are locker rooms. I did have a question, where are the lockers? Well, we didn't build lockers at our school because we are not uh, using textbooks. Every student in our school is going to receive a Chromebook, which is a little laptop. And all of the, um, all of the curriculum that teachers are developing will be hosted in an online learning management system where students will access the information right there. And so basically the only things that will be in their bag is the little Chromebook and maybe a pad of paper and a couple of pens and pencils, but other than probably their cell phone. Yeah. Um, <laughs> thank you so much for joining us on the tour. If you want to go on a self-guided tour and hit all the little QR codes, it'll give you more information. I think we're moving over to the quad now for our opening ceremonies. Thank you so much.
Yeah. How's it going, Catch? Good, good to see you. Wrestling coach. Yes? Hello, my name's Garrett. Any wrestlers out there? No? All right, you got one? Awesome. All right, all you football guys, all you athletes, this is our first year. I'm really excited to start this wrestling program. Uh, wrestling and football go hand in hand, guys. It's going to make you better in both sports. So um, if you guys are interested or have any questions, feel free to come up and introduce yourselves. Again, my name's uh, Garrett Beal. I'll be uh, teaching Pete here as well, so. And now we have Heather Land for volleyball. Hey there, uh, volleyball we've started practicing. We have open gyms going on for about three weeks now. We've had 30, roughly 30 girls in the gym over the course of time, making a lot of improvements. Looking forward to getting to do our big gym across the way here. If you're interested in playing, come on down to our volleyball table. We're down at table three. Would love to have you in the gym. I'm gonna turn it over to Coach Mike for baseball. Hey everybody, I'm Coach Duarte. Welcome to Mustang Baseball. Get a, go out in the field, take a look at that beautiful facility out there. Uh, we're gonna, I'll have a meeting when we get to school, uh, the first, couple of weeks before we get out of August, I'll have a meeting and we'll go through some of the things that we're going to plan for the year. Uh, I've got to look at some great coaches that want to coach with us. Uh, one, one of the guys that's interested to coach with us has got some ins with some of the colleges and pro scouts. So uh, I'm looking forward to working Mustang baseball, playing hardball out there, and we're going to work hard. So welcome to the welcome to Mountain House. But they can't find the answer 